Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna talk about next time, but it might be, it's something that I've been meaning to do and I'm probably gonna do it and I'll probably make a video of it. See, we've got air conditioning registers that come out of the floor. If you ever can get a house like that, I would much prefer them coming out of the floor than out of the ceiling. And uh, because for heat, the heat air rises in the winter. And if you've got your registers down here, the heat comes up here and it's more able to, and more quickly able to heat everything. I don't really care from here up if that gets all heated up. Do you in the winter? You can't feel that. Usually, usually your thermostat's right in here somewhere. It's about eye level. You see the thermostat here? This, is, this thermostat is about eye level, a little bit lower than eye level. And if we had the, the heating and air conditioning registers up high, this happens to be the, uh, uh, the air return, okay? It's not an air conditioning register. All the registers are down on the floor. But if you had registers up at the top, you've got to have your heat um, blowing down from the ceiling all the way down, not only to just here, but if you're still cold, the hot air has to go down even further. Okay? So your heater's going to run that much longer. That's what I think. And so on the registers, all of these registers, um, I probably should pull up and vacuum them out or wipe off uh, any um, cobwebs and stuff like that. Mommy, she's got a couple of her grandkids here and they're staying downstairs and they were saying they came up the other morning and Samara was like, hey, we've got some cobwebs down there. And I'm thinking, cobwebs? Where do they have cobwebs? I looked in their bedroom where they're staying. I didn't see any cobwebs. And Momi went down there, and sure enough, there were cobwebs, but they were down underneath here. She had seen some underneath there, and she pulled it up and kind of vacuumed out a couple of the registers down there. I don't think she did very many other registers, but a few. And so I thought, you know what? I need to do that throughout the house, and I'll probably make a video of that. Um, see, they're, they're all down on the floor. This, this happens to be in the bathroom. For some reason, they got two different registers in the bathroom. I don't know why, what the purpose of that was, unless they had a smaller, maybe they have a six inch or a four inch pipe here and a four inch pipe over there or something, and they decided to distrib distribute the air out there so you get one that's closer over here to the, by the toilet or something. I, I don't know, they, they could have just done one. But see, throughout, throughout the house, even in the bedrooms, now let's see, where's this register? Oh, here it is. Usually in the bedrooms, they'll have a register, and usually they'll have it um, in front of a window. You know, if they had registers up in the ceiling, they would probably have it up close to the window over here. Sometimes they'll put them over by the door entrances. The door entrances or an exterior, they'll put it on the window because you get heat. And you get hot air through the summer coming through your windows. Even if you have dual pane windows, to a certain extent, you're gonna get that. And the same thing in the, in the winter, you're gonna get a little cold air through there. So you want to have your registers fairly situated appropriately, okay? And so I'll take those up and do that. And I'll, I'll make a video of that so that you can see what the deal is there. Because you know what? You could, you could possibly have spiders. You got spider webs down there. I didn't even think of that. You got spider webs down there. That means you've got spiders, right? See, here's this one here in the, uh, the dining room area, right there. And if you have spiders there, chances are the spiders, after they make babies and spin their web, where are the babies gonna go? They're either gonna go down your duct or they may be coming out of there and coming inside your house and crawling down underneath your baseboards and stuff. If you see some spiders crawling around, maybe, maybe it's because you need to vacuum out your air conditioning register ducts. So oh, we've got a little friend here. He's, he's tuckered out. Mommy took him for a walk this morning and he's all tired now. He's feeling all nice laying on the cold 
travertine floor. He's, he's just in a stupor here, isn't he? But there's a tip for you on your air conditioning registers, especially if you have them down in the floor. Okay? I didn't, I, I've not noticed, I have not noticed very many cobwebs or spiders or anything like that because we get, um, we get pest control. We get them to spray inside the house once a quarter, once every three months. I think it's like every once in a while I see a little bug scampering around and I never thought, hey, maybe they're coming out of the registers. And so we're going to check that out next time. Even if your registers are not down on the floor like, like ours are, if they're not on the floor, if they're up on the ceiling, maybe, you know, those are a little bit harder to get. See, there's another register down there, and there's, there's probably another one over here. Oh, I believe it's underneath this. Yep, see right there. And uh, on your registers, if you have them up on the ceiling, they're a little bit more tricky to get out because they're screwed up there with some screws and you got to pull that down. Sometimes painters will caulk around there and then you've got a big mess on your hands. But these down on the floor, um, most of them just pull right up because, because they're not screwed down. Ah. This one's wedged in there. Okay, I'll have to mess with that uh, when I make that video. Okay, but lots of these are just cut. Uh, the tile floor like is cut around there and these should, should really pop up. See that? This one pulls right out of there. And look at that. See? See there's all kinds of cobwebs there. And we just, I wasn't going to really make this part of this particular video. But let's just uh, have the light on here. We're going to make, I'll make a separate video of this later. But see in the register, look at, look at all that. See all the cobweb stuff there and here? Look at all that. And it looks like there's a couple things down there. There's a pill down there. And when I get ready to... Do these. I'll check out, reach down there with my hand and all that and wipe these registers clean and all that kind of stuff. And then it just sits in there, see? It's like that. Looks like the floor needs to be cleaned around that register. And these registers, I thought they had paint on them, but you see how they're, they've got white stuff on them? See the, I don't know if you can see it. Here's some white here. You can see the bits of white. And I'm gonna clean, I'll clean these registers, but I don't think that that stuff's gonna come off. For some reason, I happen to think that over the span of the last 18 years, this house is like 18, 18 years old. We've only been in here about a year or so. Uh, when people are just cleaning the floors, vacuuming the floors and wiping them down and stuff, you get, you get the, uh, the registers. That's probably the primer underneath the register paint. And so if you really wanted to do something good, I could go down to the store and I can get some almond, take this to the hardware store, get some uh, Krylon spray paint, sand those, a little bit and then respray them and they would look brand spanking new. Let's see if this one's got any white on it. See, see all this white? Well, it's kind of hard to see it because of the uh, light in here, but I can see all kinds of white on there. Let's, let's go look at one where it's a little darker. Okay. Here's a register in the bedroom. See, there's some white there. Here's some more white. This one, this one looks a lot better. Um, I even got, I even noticed it in the, in the bathroom. See how white this register is? Look at that. I mean, really? After 18 years, all this paint has come off it? And uh, yeah, 
the top paint. I don't think that's, see, that's not dirt. That's the, probably the prime coat underneath this finished paint. And hey, I could live with that probably for another 10 years. But if I didn't want to mess with that, I could, I could repaint those. And look at this carpet here. Look at all the dirt and stuff and grime on here. It's, it's funny. Uh, Mommy always tells me I've got to clean the carpet and usually it's around her sink, not my sink. It's all of this stuff. Do you see all of it? How dirty it is? I'll look over here in mine. It's pretty clean. Here's, here's, one little, here's one little thing right there. And I thought there was something there, but that's a little piece of fuzz of some sort. One, one questionable mark there. And it's okay, I got a Hoover uh, carpet cleaner, portable carpet cleaner. I'll get that out and clean that. I've already made videos of that kind of stuff, but so I don't think I'll, I'll make another one of that. But you know what? Anytime I think of something that you might be interested in, I'm going to make a video of it. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more, yes, more videos. I'm not gonna stop making videos for a long time. So when I make another little project, I'll make a video of it. And of course, I'll upload it to my channel.